Charlie, you really like Japan, don't you? Yes, I do. I love Japanese culture and food. By the way, what is your favorite Japanese food? Well, udon is delicious. I have a favorite restaurant. I love udon too. My husband Alf is very good at making udon too. Oh, that's great! I'd love to try your husband udon. Maybe we can have a home party on our next day off. That would be so much fun. My name is Kathleen. I was born half Japanese, and I am a language school teacher. I teach Japanese to foreign students who attend the language school. I have a good relationship with Alf, whom I married three years ago. I'm very happy in my work and private life. I thought these peaceful days would last forever. Hey, I'd like to invite my friends over this weekend. Can we have a home party? Of course. Who are you going to invite? It's a student from school. His name is Charlie. Charlie loves udon, so I told him about Alf's udon and how good it is. He says he wants to eat it. Alf, please, will you make them for him? My udon for a home party? Sure, I will make it. But are you sure? I'm sure it will be fine. Alf's udon is the best in the world because the first time I tried Alf's udon. I was so impressed that I thought my cheeks would fall off and go away. Thank you. I will do my best to make it. Yay! I will help you too. Oh yeah, I will invite Claudia too. I think Claudia will get along with Charlie pretty quickly. Yeah, I'm sure she will. Let's get everyone to eat udon. The day of the home party. Alf, go for it. I can smell the delicious broth. I'm starving already. It's almost ready. Just wait and see. Okay, it's ready. Please eat it. Do you like it, Alf? It's very delicious. Thank goodness. It's really delicious, and the bonito broth isn't too thin either. It's on the same level as my favorite udon shop. Maybe it even beats that udon shop. Oh no, my udon is self-made, so it's not even close to the level of the pros. That's not true. Alf's udon is wonderful. Alf, please open a udon shop. They will sell like hotcakes. Charlie, you praise too much. Oh, I don't think so. I couldn't stop eating and drank all the broth. Hey, Claudia, you're a good eater. Alf, is something wrong? Hmm. Alf, if there's something wrong, don't hesitate to tell me. Yeah, Charlie told me that I should open an udon shop, right? Yeah, he was very impressed, wasn't he? I'm glad everyone got to try Alf's udon noodles, which I'm so proud of. So actually, ever since I was little, I've always dreamed of working in the culinary industry. Oh really? That's a first for me. I'd loved cooking since I was little. I wanted to be a chef, but my mother was vehemently against it. She told me to study hard, get into a good university, and get a stable job. Alf is Brianna's proud son. I know Brianna doesn't like the fact that I have a technical degree. I'm sorry, but she's like that. I couldn't resist her, so I came here and became a public servant. Sometimes I think about my job and I don't enjoy it. I wonder what my life would have been like if I had had the chance to become a chef. Alf. That's why when Charlie told me to open an udon shop, I was so happy. Alf, do you want to open an udon shop? I know it's not that easy, but it would be nice if I could. I don't think I can do it though. Yes, you can. If it were you. What, Kathleen? If that's what you really want to do, I will support you. 
If you are having a hard time working every day, I have a hard time too. Besides, you can do it. We can make a living since I work too. Hey, Alf, why don't you give it a try? That's very kind of you to say, but I've never worked in an udon shop before. I don't know anything about running a business. It's impossible for me to open a restaurant out of the blue. So why don't you try working at an udon shop first? You can learn how to run a business while getting an apprenticeship. Don't worry, you're smart. I'd have to quit my job as a government employee to do that, you know. If that's what you want, Alf, you only live once. Now is your chance. Okay. Now that we've decided that, we need to find a place to train. I will ask at the school tomorrow. If you can train at Charlie's favorite udon shop. Thank you. Next day, Damon. I brought him. Welcome. Nice to meet you. My name is Alf. This is his wife, Kathleen. Nice to meet you. We were just looking for someone. I heard you wanted to run a udon shop. Yes. While working here, I hope to learn from you. Alf, you are too hard. Let's test your skill first to see if you can be a force to be reckoned with. Wash your hands and come into the kitchen. Yes, please. Alf, good luck. Mrs. Catherine, it's going to be all right. Alf's udon is so good, and he has a passion for udon. I'm sure he will make a terrific udon shop. Thanks, Charlie. Two weeks later. Who could it be at this hour? Yes. Who is it? Brianna. What, Mom? I'm tired. Kathleen, bring me some cold water. Yes, ma'am. Mom, what are you doing here so early in the morning? There is a leak on the floor above our apartment. It leaked all over the ceiling of our house. I'm afraid I won't be able to live there for a while, so I've decided to stay here. You mean you're going to live here? Yes, Dad. So suddenly? I've been living alone for a few years since Dad died. Your mother is in trouble. Since when did you become so cold? I guess when you get a wife, you become dependent on her, right, Kathleen? Oh no, I didn't. Why do you blame Kathleen? Brianna, by all means, stay home until the leak is fixed. Hmm. I would do that even if you didn't tell me to. Please make yourself at home. I will have your room ready in a minute. Sorry. What's wrong with you? Looking at your wife's face every time. You're pathetic. I educated you well. Got you out of a good university and even made you a public servant. I don't need Kathleen to tell my son what to do. Mother, I apologize for my immaturity. I will prepare your room. Kathleen, I'm sorry. I will tell her to leave as soon as possible. What are you talking about? If you're in trouble, we both in trouble. Don't tell Brianna to leave, okay? That's it. You quit your job. You didn't tell Brianna you are working at the udon shop, did you? Yeah, if I do, she will be against it getting my way. I think it's better not to tell her until the restaurant opens. I will have to keep it under wraps while Brianna's home. Excuse me, Alf. You're going to work? You're up late, and what with the outfit? Why aren't you wearing a suit? I don't have to wear a suit to work these days. Well, the flexible work hours system has given you a lot of freedom, hasn't it? Civil servants are also making progress these days, aren't they? Have a good day, Kathleen. What with the way you hang your laundry, Kathleen? You're not using the knife, right? Hey, Kathleen. I don't want to go home. Poor thing, 
Alf's mother must be very intense. Is it life beating? Why don't you let Charlie experience it? The horror of wife beating. That's scary even for me as a man. I miss the old fashioned restaurant. What shall I have? Is this your first time here? The apple pie is excellent. Thank you very much. I will have the apple pie. I'm sorry to hear about the water leak. On top of that, my son's wife was so uptight. She didn't give me enough to eat, and I had a hard time. That's terrible. If you want, we're gonna have a cup of tea together here from time to time. I'm usually here about this time every day to take a break from work. Really? I'd love to. I'm single, free spirit. I envy you for listening to your family. Even if it's just about your problems. He is a very nice person. He seems rich. Maybe I can get married again. You really can't go wrong with udon at Demons. Delicious. What's the matter, Charlie? You don't eat much. I can't find a job. I'm almost out of money and I don't deserve to eat udon. That's not true. Your Japanese has improved. I love Japanese culture and art. I would like to do such a job, but I can't find any. You mean art that uses artwork or something like that? My friend Earl has an art boutique as a hobby. I can introduce you if you like. Claudia, really? I'd love to. I will call him and ask. They can interview you tomorrow. Thank you very much. I will do my best. Good for you, Charlie. I knew I could count on you, Claudia. Charlie, are you eating? Damon, it's delicious. Damon, thank you for taking care of Alf. Kathleen, Alf has very good taste. When Charlie brought him here, I was worried if he could handle an udon shop like this. But he's got a motivation, the guts. And when it comes to making udon noodles, he's the best. He even let us try some of his original dough. We learned more from him than he did from us. Thanks to Damon's generosity in allowing us to open the restaurant as a sort of goodwill share, we have been able to save a lot of money in opening the restaurant. I can't thank Damon enough. Thanks to Charlie, I'm happy I was able to help out. Oh, Claudia, take your time. Thank you very much. What's wrong, Damon? Your face is red. Do you have a fever? I don't have a fever. Just eat lots of food. I'm home. What's wrong, Mom? You look scared. Brianna, I'm home. Here's a souvenir. I don't want this. Mother, what are you doing? Alf. What did you do with your civil service job opening a udon shop? Hey, how do you know that? You're the manager. I saw a picture of you. Is this a joke? Actually, I quit my civil service job and training at an udon shop to open my own restaurant. I beg your pardon. You got to be kidding me. I took the trouble to set you on a good path from a young age. I made you a public servant. I appreciate you thinking of me, but I wanted a career in a culinary industry since I was little. One of Kathleen's students, Charlie, told me to open an udon shop. Claudia said it was delicious. She ate a lot of my udon. I asked Kathleen about it. Kathleen. Why didn't you stop him when you were there? I'm sorry. I just thought Alf was going to make it. Kathleen pushed me, and I made up my mind. Mom, I'm going to make it a success. So please watch over me. Brianna, Alf's udon noodles are excellent. It's a taste that even the professionals approve of. You should try it. Shut up. I didn't train Alf to be an udon chef or anything.
Just because you are praised by one of Kathleen's students and were pushed by your stupid wife, mother, how dare you? Alf downfall is because he married Kathleen. You pestilence! Why is opening a udon shop a downfall? Comparing a civil servant to an udon shop is like comparing two different things. Even an udon shop is a respectable job. It's not something to compare. If I didn't let you marry Kathleen, Alf wouldn't have gone astray. What a lousy wife! The next day, my son was fooled by his wife and had to lose his job. Oh, really? Your son is working in a udon shop he doesn't want to work in. That's right. If my son retired, he would get a small severance pay, right? He's a public employee. She's probably going to take his savings and run away. That wife would do it. What kind of wife would do such an elaborate thing? She's a very mean wife. I'm having a hard time. Brianna, please don't cry. Three days later, Kathleen, didn't Charlie start working at Earl's place? Yes, he did. Charlie was very happy, and you know, there is this older woman who sometimes has tea with Earl. She has a terrible daughter-in-law who treats her like crap every day, and her son is going to quit his job to become an udon noodle shop. Udon shop? I didn't know there was anyone that close to me who wanted to do that. Kathleen, I heard from Charlie. Charlie told me that the woman's name is Brianna. Brianna is the same name as my mother-in-law. What a coincidence! She's the one in the picture. Oh my God, that's Brianna! I knew it. I heard she's been talking behind your back a lot. Oh no, even to other people. I think Brianna has a thing for all. You have been through a lot with Brianna. You should punish her for this. What do you mean, punish her? The next day, you're still a slow learner, aren't you? What is that cleaning? It's all your fault that Alf became an udon shop. It was Alf's wish, so I wanted to support him. You don't understand since you're not an educated person. You really are a god of pestilence. You're the scummiest of wives, Brianna. How can you say such things? Huh? What's wrong with calling a bum a bum? Don't you talk back to me, you uneducated, useless piece of shit! I'm home, Mom. You can't keep yelling at Kathleen. Will you please stop it? What the heck, Alf? You brought someone here. Who are they? They are Charlie and Claudia. Kathleen's friends. You and this stupid wife dragged us into evil ways. Stupid wife has stupid friends. You people intrigued us. If you are friends of the scum wife, you are not much of a person anyway. So go home. That's terrible, Brianna. You should leave it at that. Shut up. You don't get to meddle in other people's business. You're a piece of shit too, Brianna. What? Oh, why are you here? I'm friends with Claudia. I'm here because I heard I will be able to enjoy the best udon at Kathleen's house. Are you serious? I didn't know. Claudia, welcome. By the way, Charlie is a valued employee of mine. I see. He's a cool guy. But I'm surprised you're the one calling names to Catherine and her friends. No, it's not what you think. Until you all arrived, I was being rubbed down by Catherine. She was yelling at me, so I was just stressed. I was scared of Catherine too. Hey, lady, come on, quit it. What was she yelling at you about? You're the one who keeps yelling at Catherine, aren't you? Am I wrong? What the heck did Kathleen do? 
I heard you said she was going to take the money and run away. Alf's savings and several packets went to open a noodle shop. He doesn't have any money. Catherine is the reason they have a living. She's the one who pays the bills while you're here. Don't call her a scumbag wife. Don't be so bossy. You're just sitting around doing nothing. Alf! Catherine! Help me! Mother, enough! Brianna, I can't allow you to speak bad of my friends. Oh! I'm also a poorly educated knuckle. I'm self-taught, and I've come this far. I don't trust people like you, Brianna, who look down on people by bringing up their education, occupation, and even their race. I will no longer be your friend. Oh, no! Mom, I can't live with you anymore. I want you to go back to the apartment. Kathleen, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. The truth is that I love you, Kathleen. I've been so lonely since my husband died. I was crazy to think that Alf was taken away from me. I'm sorry. I was just lonely. Look at me, poor all. Brianna, I can't forgive you for what you have done. I'm going to follow Alf. Brianna, you've said so many horrible things to me. You've lied to me. I don't trust you. A few days later. Yes, if I talk to Al again in that coffee shop, he will understand. Oh! Thanks to Alf, my udon shop just got bigger. Thank you. Thank you too. Alf, you did it. It's thanks to all of you that my dream come true. Kathleen, thank you so much for your support. You guys are so close. I want a partner too, like Mrs. Kathleen and Alf, Claudia and Damon. We're not like that. I think so too. What, Claudia? What did you just say? I don't care how much you care about your kids. I don't think it's the right kind of education to let children walk the rails their parents have laid out for them. Because the path of life is one that we walk with our own running, dreams, hopes, and sometimes even suffering. It is not right to manipulate a child's life as you want it to be, to blame others for their inability to do so, and to bring them down. I don't know what happened to the mother who blamed others and looked down at people. Thank you for watching to the end. If you like this video, Please subscribe to our channel, click the good button or commenting on the video. I hope you will support us. See you in the next video.